Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft. Joining me right now is Brent Charlton. He's the president and CEO of N-Wave Corporation. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is ENW on the TSX Venture. And N-Wave will be presenting at our upcoming investor conference, the Planet Microcap Showcase Vancouver, taking place at the Fairmont Waterfront, Vancouver, September 25 and 26, 2024. This is all in association with Small Cap Discoveries. For more information, to see Brent's presentation, meet with him one-on-one, -on -one, please visit planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Brent, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Good, Robert. How are you? Oh, very well. You know, look, it's been a minute since we've had you on the show, so I'm I'm looking forward to getting yeah. a, uh, an update here. Not the full update, because you know we got to keep it kind of tight. But <laughs> you know, we'll we're gonna get a good update. Save that for so, the conference. Save yeah, that for the conference. Exactly. Yeah. So, so Brent, you know, for those that may have not seen any of the interviews we've done in the past or haven't heard of Enway before, can you give us that quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. Yes. So Enway Corporation is commercializing a patented dehydration technology that uses vacuum and microwave to create a very fast, efficient, even drying process and is typically being used in the food industry in many different verticals across the globe. And what's unique about N-Wave is that we're commercializing this technology through a licensing royalty business model. So our key driver internally here is to build a large diversified royalty portfolio that continues to grow as our partners in the food space sell more and more of vacuum microwave dried products. Very good. All right. So like I said, it's been actually a couple of years since the last time we did an interview together. So rather than all the updates in the last three years or whatever, you know, can you give us some of the company's highlights from the last, let's say, 12 months or so? Sure. Um, really, in the last 12 months, what stood out to me in regards to the maturation of our business is the quality of the adopters of our technology. So we have several blue chip multi-billion dollar revenue food companies who have signed royalty bearing licenses with us, bought large scale machinery, put them to use and have taken products to market. And those products are doing very well, which means that the manufacturing capacity that they have on their current apparatuses that they've bought from us are getting to 100% pretty closely. So as we move forward over the next 12 to 18 months, we're anticipating an influx of large scale machine orders to help support that growth in those businesses. And what happens then? Well, more royalties get paid back to N-Wave. And that's what's most exciting about N-Wave today versus where we were maybe three years ago is the quality of partnerships we have. Absolutely. I mean, you know, let, let's hit on that real quick. I mean, what, what would you say has changed in the last three months where now you've been able to sign some of these blue chippers on? I mean, it's just time testing, you know, love to hear your thoughts on that. A uh, bit of both. Uh, I think it's market timing. So making sure that we're satisfying new consumer demands for healthy on the go snacks and doing so with snacks that taste fantastic. Um, and I think in our partnerships with Dole and Calby, and even from a military ration perspective with the U.S. Army, we're starting to see good progress and that snowball. So more success in market that different food companies are seeing from our partners. They want to get involved, too. So they're, they're reaching out to us and we're starting to do different development projects. So for a forecast for the next 12 to 18 months, as I said, we're expecting large scale machine orders to come from our current royalty partners, but also we now have a list of different companies that are just now engaging with us for that next wave of commercialization. Absolutely. All right. Well, to close this out here today, because like I said, you're going to be in Vancouver and get the full update and everything like that. So I got a two part question for you. One, you kind of hit on this part already. You know, what would you say are some of the additional value catalysts that folks should, you know, really be aware of now for the rest of this year going into 2025 mm -hmm. from what you can tell us, of course. And then secondly, you know, and it's kind of part and parcel, but, you know, for those that are looking to be or going to be in Vancouver or looking to come to Vancouver, you know, what are those one to two reasons why they should want to see your presentation, potentially meet with you in a one-on-one -on -one meeting? Uh, well, I think first off, the key financial metric that folks should look at when they're considering investment into N-Wave is our royalty portfolio growth. And through the past five years or so, our comp, uh, compound annual growth rate has been just under 20%. And we're looking to try and push that above 20% with the number of new machines that we're deploying now or have recently. Um, so that's a critical metric to continue to look at. Why you should come and listen to the N-Wave story is because of what I mentioned earlier on this, this presentation is we've just partnered with some material blue chip food companies who have the prospects to grow and grow quickly, which should significantly improve our royalty portfolio and hence the value of our business. Great place to end it. Brent, where can our audience go and find more information on N-Wave? Our website is nwave.net. So E-N-W-A-V-E.net. That's the first great place to find the information about our business. And if you have any particular questions for follow-up, please reach out. Happy to, to field those questions.
Very cool. Well, Brent, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I'll see you in Vancouver. Thanks, man.